what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and today I'm going to open all of this mail now um, I put it in this box uh, which actually held a very big book that we got for our housewarming look it's a very impressive book it is as big as this box but naturally I wanted to save the books uh, because I felt like I could probably find good use for it and I did I actually stored the letters in here until I had time to make this video because last week oh, I have to catch my breath <laughs> I tried to say too many things in one sentence um, but last week and also the week before I have been crazy busy um, with work mainly I worked a lot of hours which is good because in around Christmas I'm actually not working a lot of hours um, we work with a rather young team a lot of people are students and they naturally have Christmas holidays so they want to work a lot more I do not have Christmas holidays because you know every week for me is the same but um, I only got scheduled for two days a week around Christmas so I only have to work two days which is actually good I can have a little bit of holiday celebrations because my boyfriend is also um, not working at those weeks um, but because I did only get scheduled two days a week in the upcoming weeks and I still need to make money I decided to pick up some extra shifts in the past weeks uh, which resulted in a very very tired me not a lot of crafting and definitely no filming so that is why I did not yet uh, do this video um, but I know that I picked this up last week I think a week and a half ago I picked it up did I yeah a week and a half ago I picked all of this up I did already open some obviously but not all of them but in between a week and a half ago and now there's already seven eight or nine I don't know exactly which one of the but around eight new pieces of mail in my PO box which is a little bit insane I wonder it could of course all be Christmas cards, but it could also be basically anything. So that is super exciting, kind of crazy. And um, yeah, I'm going to pick them up hopefully before the new year again, because I, I, there's always a little bit of time in between because my PO box is not that close to home anymore. So I'm already rambling a lot. Let me get a tea before I forget because I, um, like I said, I haven't done a lot of videos, so my tea basket is filling up, but there, there's this one tea that I have been dying to try, and I think, feel like this is the perfect time. I'm pretty sure it might be from Heather. Okay. Oh, that smell. Yeah, yeah, this one. Carrot cake and rooibos. Steep for three to five minutes. Or maybe I should get a tea strainer. Is it in a bag? Let me check. Cute little envelope, little cute matching label, but I'm especially excited about the flavor. Rooibos is my all-time favorite. I mean, Rooibos is my all-time favorite tea, and carrot cake is my favorite cake. So, oh, from Sipsby or Sipsby, Sipsby. I call it Sipsby because I, I, I. Oh, that smells so good because I watched this YouTuber whose entire channel is focused around um, like monthly subscription services and she also has this subscription uh, and she calls it Sips B, but maybe it's Sips By actually, I don't know, but oh, I've never tried tea from them before, but that smells incredible. Okay, steep for three to five minutes. Okay. Um, I'm completely, completely out of it now. I'm definitely going to save that bag. Really cute. Even the bag smells amazing now. But what I was saying is PO box, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I do have to say one thing because I still get a lot of questions from people asking me, hey Vivian, can I send you mail? The short answer is yes, yes, you can. The, um, like I said, I have a PO box, especially for people like subscribers who want to send me something, which is kind of crazy that a lot of people do. The longer story is that it is not like pen paling. I mean, I have a few pen pals whom I love writing with, but I cannot pen pal with all of you uh, simply because, as you can see, I, I, for some crazy reason, receive a lot of mail. So I cannot reply to everyone as much as I would love to reply to everyone. I 
can't. I've explained that numerous times, but um, I randomly pick a few each month to reply to. Some months I will only reply to four people, some months eight, some months ten. It changes every month, but I try to reply to as many people as possible without losing my spark. Long story short, I ex like for the people who have been at my channel longer, they have heard me say that a dozen times, but because I still get that question a lot, I do want to mention it. Now, um, there are two more things I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is tell you who I have replied to in between the previous PO box opening and this one. I was a little bit sad because I did not send out a lot of mail, but when I started counting, I actually replied to a lot of people. So somehow, uh, somehow I still managed to do that. Um, in order to keep track of whom I have replied to, I always take pictures and then I uh, store um, those pictures in a photo diary app. The one I use is called Diaro. So not diary, but diaro, not sponsored. But if you type in photo diary app in your app store, you will find a dozen ones. I just downloaded the first one and it works pro really well for me. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is uh, tell you who I have replied to. I think, I think the last people I mentioned replying to in, back in October were Gabby from the USA, Tony from the USA and Kylie from Australia. I'm fairly certain. And then since then I have replied to Marissa from Canada, to Leia from the USA, from Karina in Brazil, um, to Car I have replied to Karina in Brazil, I have replied to Jocelyn uh, in the USA, Sylvia in Germany and Jane in Ireland. Then in December I've also sent out a couple letters so far, four so far, I'm actually going pretty well, <laughs> I've actually, I actually don't think I've um, done that badly. I have replied to Katarina in the Czech Republic, Madison in the USA, Sarah in Sweden and Naomi in Switzerland. So those are all of the people I have replied to. Um, I'm obviously going to try and reply to a lot more but I have been in a creative... I don't know, I haven't been that creative lately so we are going to see how many more I can send out this year. Then the second thing I'm going to do is something new I want to try. Let me first count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, for
Um, this one is from Abe. I have not opened it yet. So, hey, but you will definitely be getting a reply from me. Um, all the other people will go into the normal pile. Uh, and I will hopefully, obviously, still reply to you. So, I'm just going to take a picture, I guess. Can I get everything on a picture? I don't know. Okay. That will do. Oh, good. I've been wanting to try Sips BT, but I don't think they actually ship their uh, their um, subscription to Europe <laughs> because a tea subscription would actually be really fun. Um, if anyone of you knows a tea subscription that ships to Europe, uh, don't actually tell me about it because I'm on no spend. <laughs> no, I would love to try that, but I'm trying to save money in the house. We have so many things we have to purchase for the house. It's not funny anymore. So, uh, I am just going to have to wait. Okay, I'm just going to move this aside. I am going to start with the one from Abe because I am going to reply to you. I do not actually know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I think it's Abe, but I have no clue if that's like correct or not, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, Abe sent me this lovely envelope. We've got a little monster on the front. Nice little collage, cute rainbow washi type. And then I'm going to uh, not look at the table of con like the what is it called? Customs sheet spoilers. Oh my goodness! I can see some tissue paper. Okay. Oh, that is pretty. There's a rainbow theme again. I like that. Really colorful. Oh, definitely saving that. Oh, it's monster themed. That is so fun. We've got type. We've got this lovely little bundle wrapped together with some twine. We've got type, letter, vintage theme goodies, even more goodies. So we've got all of these envelopes decorated with different monsters. I wonder if you made that yourself. That is really, really cool. I'm just going to open all of these little envelopes. We've got type. These casts are washi type. Oh my god, that's cool. We've got washi type stickers on a playing card. A colorful playing card. I like your style. And then we've got some masking stickers. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but these are actually individual stickers. Like we've got strips and we've got circles. These would be really cute for collaging. Quite like that. And I am going to take a peek at the letter just because. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the letter, but I'm just curious about who you are. <laughs> the letter is adorable, first of all, because it ends with him saying that he loves my cat so much, but um, yeah, I, I try, I try not to get into people's letters too much because I want you guys to feel safe around me and you should not worry about me ever sharing personal information that you've shared with me. Like, writing to me is a safe space. I want you guys to feel like you can tell me anything, but I feel like it would be okay for me to tell this, especially because Abe also mentioned it himself. But, um, Abe said that he was really happy that I, in one of my videos, acknowledged that there are also guys in the snail mail community because I also know that I speak a lot of times of girls and uh, girls in the, in the in my pen pals are all ladies and all stuff like that but I, I know, I know that there are guys in the snail mail community as well and I know that especially because I've had of course, Michael reached out to me uh, once, but also because I have those find pen pals in the comments posts. Oh my god, I just saw someone pass my window on. What was that? It was not a bicycle, it wasn't a scooter. <laughs> you know one of those home training machines where you do this with your arms and then you move your legs? Well, I saw someone pass on one of those things, like actually on the street. I've never seen that before. That was so distracting. but. What I'm trying to say is that I have those fine pen pals in the comments posts uh, where people can leave a comment on my Instagram um, on those specific posts, not on all of them, and then they can find pen pals that way. But I've seen so many guys in there as well. I do not read all of the comments because, heck, there are a thousand.
thousands of comments on those posts, but sometimes I will scroll scroll through through ah, cannot speak. Sometimes I will scroll through them and Abe, I've actually seen that you are by far not the only guy in this new meal community. And although a lot of times my projects are very pink i think I, I think i use a lot of pink <laughs> um i want you to know that i am very excited actually by the fact that it's both for girls and for guys because why i don't know i mean i'm happy to receive mail from everyone and anyone and i quite like your style with all of these little monsters i'm gonna leave it at that um like i said i hope you don't mind me sort of discussing your mail i just want you to know that i'm also very excited by seeing that there are also guys in this snail mail community now i'm just going to look at these vintage themed goodies we've got a ticket we've got some button and some ribbon we've got a paper clip oh play games we've got some little envelopes always a very Always come in handy. Great idea. Oh, little mice, a harvest mice. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Growing up on a farm, I've actually seen a lot of those. And then a squirrel. Oh, this is nice. I always like, I don't know, new books, sometimes the paper feels too smooth. <laughs> I like older books better in that way. Then we've got some vintage looking postcards, a telephone, some people and a Vespa. Oh my God, that is cool. That is cool. And then, let me put that back. Really, really cute. I wonder, Abe, let me know. I don't know if you're on YouTube as well or just um, if you have like an account so that you can go. Okay, let me know, Abe, do you like vintage themed mail? Because I have not actually done anything vintage themed in a long time. And since I'm replying to you anyway, I might as well try and make something that <laughs> you like in a vintage style. So let me know, do you like vintage? Uh, because I might try and do something like that for you. And then we've got the last envelope, which says even more goodies. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. I don't know, like always when people send me stuff like these vintage, okay, when people send me something that I love a lot, I always assume that we have the same style, but it might also be that they are just sending me the things that they don't like, but they know I like. So Abe, I'm gonna ask you again, do you like these botanical style things? Because I already have an idea for a meal for you and I would love to know if you um, are into like vintage botanicals because I might be able to do something with that. Because this actually gets me super excited and I just wanna know if you like that too. So very, very pretty vintage like botanical um, postcard. And then another one, which is also very pretty. I love this paper feel very pretty might be cute to do something on top of this like write hello or something this dotted paper was handmade in india what oh my god really <gasps> that like can you imagine how much work that must have been that is very cool and then the thing is skipped over because i saw that card is this uh jeans printed paper which is also very cool quite like that i have to admit i've also thought of writing my brother or my dad or making them like a birthday card but i never really knew because like i said a lot of things i have are very pink but these things with for example the the jeans i think they would actually not mind that so much like if i were to send them a pink and gold birthday card they would probably send it back but this actually this is actually quite nice so thank you so much for that, Abe. I really, like I said, I really hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, I really, really like this, uh, your little monster themed mail. I will be replying to you. I don't know yet if it will be big or small, but keep an eye out on your mailbox because hopefully, hopefully I'll get some inspiration soon. So 
that was number one. Then number two and three. I'm just going to grab these. I'm quickly going to show you because I cannot show you the inside because there's a private letter in there. Also, this cute little felt felt. Is it felt or felt? I forgot. Felt. I think this felt heart, which is adorable. But the overall content of these envelopes is a letter, which I cannot obviously show you. And this very big, <laughs> very big washi tape sample. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that it has arrived. This is from Maria from the USA. She sent me two letters. Um, there is some time in between these, but I found them <laughs> at the same time because like I said, I don't go to my PO books very often. So thank you so much for these, Maria. I really enjoyed getting to know you a little bit better. And I'm going to put them in the to reply pile. Oh, I've also said this a million times, but when some people send me multiple letters, I put both of them in the pile separately. But when I pick one of them, I will uh, reply to both of them at the same time. Just to keep it kind of, I'm trying to keep it fair. <laughs> um, then, which one am I gonna grab? I'm gonna grab a Christmas themed one, I think. This one is Christmas themed. I want to do some Christmas themed meal. I have to say, um, I always store my goodies like separately. So right now I'm still, actually, even though it's December, I'm still working with my fall themed goodies. I do also have my boxes of winter themed goodies out, but I'm not actually that excited by them this year. I don't actually want to do winter crafting. So I might actually just go straight from fall crafting to, to um, spring crafting because that is definitely me mm. but i have not found the inspiration for christmas themed anything yet wow that is tasty mm. that is just as good as i hoped it would be mm. Mm. here in breda the town where i live we also used to have a really cute tea shop that i loved going to i also mentioned it before because she one time asked me to make labels like handwritten labels for her tea but then that ended up not um she ended up not doing that like not working with me first of all because probably my handwriting isn't even that nice but also because she couldn't afford it because sadly the tea shop was not profitable enough and she had to close down but i loved going there also because she had those really nice tea flavors and now i kind of miss that like i miss going to a shop and picking out a fun tea flavor to try even though we do ha still have one tea shop in breda but it's much more generic like they will have green tea jasmine or a summer mix which i do quite like but i i don't know i just miss that cute little tea shop mm. she didn't go bankrupt because she also sold um those porcelain she sold porcelain like teacups and stuff from poland because she is originally from poland and that was very profitable she told me but no one bought tea which is what she started the shop for in the first place so she de decided to just do a web shop where she would sell the porcelain mm. good for her but i miss my tea shop <laughs> um so this one is from l Hmm, I don't know who is L, but her last name is actually Dutch, which is De Witt. So I'm interested to see who this is from. Like I said, it is Christmas themed. Very cute. We've got some vintage Christmas carol paper on the background and then a little Christmas koala, which is absolutely adorable. And of course the beautiful Sydney stamp. So I'm just gonna open this and see who you are. Oh my God, this Happy Mail sticker. I love that. Careful, Vivian. I have a I have a letter opener. Why am I not using my letter opener? Use. Okay, there we go. What have you sent me and who are you? Happy Christmas. That's cute. First I'm gonna take a peek. So oh yeah, see she's Dutch. Oh no, she's not. I'm confused. Her letter is in both English and Dutch. Her name is Louise. But she she starts writing in Dutch, which is like beste Vivian. Vrolijke kerstwee. Uh, I cannot speak Dutch. Beste Vivian, vrolijke kerstfeest. And then it's I love to watch. So vrolijke kerstfeest means Merry Christmas in Dutch. Um, there's a guy on the street who's watching me talk to myself. This is awkward. But I'm just gonna wait until he passes. 
<laughs> this is so cute. She sent me a flat pack kerst decoration. Make your own paper chain garland. That is cute. I'm just gonna cover up your note because I don't I don't know privacy, I guess. We've got a card from Brisbane, which I'm gonna leave there to protect the note. Then we've got some journaling cards. Oh, that is pretty. Some postcards. Oh wait, but this is like a coloring. This is the same image, but this one is colored and this one is not. That is fun, I can color it in. Or I can give it completely different colors, <laughs> whichever I like. And then we've got a make your own garland. Oops. Oh, oh, this is stuck on here. Oh, that's clever. So we've got these little paper strips for making the garland. Wait, this is like make your own paper chain garland. I think it, I think what you mean is this, right? Do we, I we used to do that when I was a kid. I had. Well, did I already speak for half an hour? I might have. Let me see. I forgot to light my candle because look. My mom bought me a Rituals um, Advent Calendar. Can I show you without moving my camera? Do not mind the mess. I cannot show you. Okay, let me just take this off. There it is. See, that's my focus. That's my Rituals Advent Calendar. It even has little lights in it. And then you have... Ow. <laughs> And then you have, oh, why is this, the lighting so bad? You even have, um, hello, yeah. So we've got little packages. I've obviously already opened a lot. We've got packages there, packages there, packages on the back. And then the star is like the main event probably. And then each Sunday you, we have one of these little packages and that holds a little candle. So it's like a ritual. You're supposed to light a candle every Sunday. Today is Sunday. But I actually forgot to light one all the other Sundays, so I'm doubting whether I should light the one from the first Sunday or one from the last. Because look, the one from last, from this Sunday, is black, which is also pretty cool. I've got another one. <laughs> um, so I'm, I think I should light one. I think I'm just gonna light the first one. I think that's the first one. I, I was thinking of lighting it because it's a dark day and then I forgot anyway. Of course I don't know where my lighter is. <sighs> I'm such a messy person. And uh, I, I found one of them. I guess I'm just gonna like cute little candle. I like that ritual <laughs> of like getting a new candle for like, oh my god. The other lighter is literally next to the candles. I'm so, I'm so special. <laughs> But yeah, um, is it a good idea to light a candle next to paper goodies? Probably not. I'm just going to move it aside with my tea. Can you still see that? Actually, it looks really cute. <laughs> it actually looks really cute. There we go. Um, so I was looking at Louise's meal before my camera said, it's been half an hour, Vivian. Are you done? My camera automatically shuts off after half an hour. It's like, that's enough, Vivian. <laughs> um, but okay, so we have the paper garland and then we have these adorable matching stickers and some adorable little tags. Really cute. Kiki K. Oh my God, is there like a Kiki K Christmas book? Uh. Kiki K has everything, I swear to God. So there's that meal, very adorable. Um, I am going to put you on the to reply pile and who knows maybe one day I will get to write a half English half Dutch letter to you put a couple meals in here from Jay I think we should open one from Jay wait let me see I say couple because Jane spoils me um, let me see there should be another one yeah I recognize your handwriting Jane are you proud is that it? Yes, that should be it. After that, we are going to open this one, which is also very exciting. Okay, um, I think I already opened one. Which one did I open? This one. I already opened this one. Letter I'm going to leave in there, but she also had this adorable little um, like origami almost. Origami 
envelope with ribbon. And this is my favorite paper from Action. So pretty. I know that other stores have it as well. It's just a generic print, but it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put that aside again. I did reply to Jane, finally. I don't know why it took me so long, but I finally replied to Jane. Oh, this is cute. It says, warning Vivian, spoiler notice. Okay, I'm not gonna look. Not gonna look, how do I open this? See, that's right, I need the letter opener. But then it's so annoying to use. I don't know if I should open them in a particular order. I'm just gonna go from smallest to biggest. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the cute, cute, oh, that's adorable, cute little reindeer. Is it a pouch? I think it's a pouch. And it says Christmas is coming soon. Well, it definitely is. Got glittery reindeer. Can I admit something to you guys? I am not excited for Christmas. I know I'm supposed to be excited. <gasps> oh, it's a little, a little donut bunny. A little donut bunny key ring and then the rest I think is the letter so I'm gonna leave that in there but if I'm very honest oh or there's something on the back as well oh oops oh okay don't look at that that's the return address um what am I saying I'm not actually excited for Christmas and I know that a lot of people are going to shoot me but every year Christmas is just kind of difficult for me I used to love it as a child like absolutely love it I was so excited I would get presents and everything but these last few years it's just been so much stress so everything christmas related um i don't know it's just a bit too much <laughs> so um yeah i don't know christmas music no no thank you but i do like all of the christmas goodies you guys are sending my way completely forgot to look at the stamps we've even got some christmas stamps which that is something i do like christmas stamps i also have some myself Hey Vivian, we've got beautiful deer, haha, <laughs> a reindeer, got a dog, culture night. She always, I don't know if you have that many stamps or if you're just like saving them all for me, but I every time I, I have new stamps from Jane, it's kind of crazy. Now, this is the last one, which I think is a Christmas present, and I don't know if you did this, Jane, or if the mail service did this, but there's like an priority sticker on top of the image oh yeah i i should have seen that coming why why did i rip that okay maybe i should have just left it on there it looks a little bit like a crown okay there we go kind of i kind of ruined that i should have been a little bit more patient but there's this huge package from jane festive wonder merry christmas i'm sorry for the creaking of my chair by the way I'm just going to open it because otherwise I'm going to look at the spoilers. I'm so proud of myself that I have left this closed. Okay. It is not easy. That's why it's good. Ow, I just caught myself. I am so special. That is why it's good that I put it in a box because otherwise the like looking at it the whole time would kill me. Oh, we've got two packages. Hello Vivian, some Merry Christmas meal for you. Enjoy, Jane. Which one first? This one first. Oh my gosh. But by what I said, um, but like I said, everything Christmas stresses me out. And with that, I mean the Christmas dinners with family and working with Christmas. <laughs> of, of course I have to work with Christmas, but I only work Christmas Eve. So that's the 24th. I got lucky this year because I wanted to work with New Year's Eve because I do not celebrate that at all. But then for some reason I did not get put on the roster for New Year's. So I'm lucky and I do not work that often these upcoming weeks, except for next week. Upcoming week I still have four days a week of work. When I upload this, it's probably going to be next week already, but that's okay. So we've got some Christmas napkins with I'm going to use for decoupaging a Christmas envelope. I have to hurry up, it's almost Christmas already. And then another one. What have you got for me? Oh, that's cute piece. We've got this beautiful little collage, which I might put up in my room somewhere for a little bit of Christmas decorating. And then something else. 
another one. Merry Christmas. That is cute. Oh, it's actually a postcard, I think. If I look at the back, postcards usually have that line in the middle, right? I think she meant these as postcards. Christmas cards. That is a smart idea. But I think actually we just want to have them as decoration, if that's all right with you. And I actually think that all of the Christmas goodies I'm receiving, I might have to use them for next year because I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really, I, I don't want to let go of fall crafting just yet. Okay, just, I'm, I am going to put these aside for some envelope decorating. Not too close to the candle, really. And then we've got this little gift bag. How do I open this? Should I cut it? I don't want to cut it. I think I might have to. Mm, no, I'm just going to cut it. Ooh, a bunch of goodies in here. Oh, Christmas theme. Look, this would be good for that envelope decorating. Seriously, my chair keeps creaking, it's annoying. Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Festive fun, oh my God, these are cute. <gasps> Whoa, a lot of die cuts or stickers, I don't actually know. Oh my goodness. Look at that, this would be perfect for that Christmas envelope. I'm not actually sending out Christmas cards this year. I just cannot be bothered. No, that sounds very negative, but I mean, it's a bit too much for me this year. But this is a good way to still send a little Christmas cheer to my pen pals or subscribers. Now, how do I get that back in here? <laughs> also, that also happened last year where I would receive a lot of Christmas goodies in January because I, I I was too late but I do not actually mind that because then I can just use them next year so don't worry too much about it if your meal hasn't arrived yet last but not least we've got this oh my god I love these napkins oh that is going to be one pretty botanical envelope this in combination with vintage paper, I can see a meal coming together. I love the idea. Okay, someone is running on the street. What are people doing today? The streets are for cars, not for people running. Um, I love the idea of wrapping with napkins. That is actually clever and it's very light as well. Thank you, Vivian, for being you. For you. Oh my God, she says, as I write this, there are just eight, wait, eight weeks to Christmas. How that did so much time pass already? Now it's just 10 days to Christmas. <gasps> I'm sorry, Jane. You were totally right for sending it super early because I, I'm always late. I got this cute little, <laughs> with, um, what is this, paper straws? Thank you, Vivian, for being you. Cute little paper straws. Oh, Christmas ties. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys can see that. That is cute. Different Santas. I do miss like having that holiday spirit, like putting Christmas, tr Christmas trees on the Christmas tree. What am I saying? Putting presents on the Christmas tree and all that. Next year, I promise I will make it a thing again. I will put in some effort. Oh, and then we've got these gorgeous clear stamps, like um, festive clear stamps. We've got mistletoe, we've got, what is this called again? Oh, I know this because you also sent me the die. What is this called? I know this, this is like the Christmas flower, the red one. I forgot the name and then a snowflake. I should know this. I should know this. And then we've got more of those very colorful um, straws. Why do I forget the word for that the whole time? 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it looks very, very festive. Cute. Very cute. And then last but not least, I can see, oh my god, a bamboo eco mug protective sleep. It has a V on it. That is so cute. Eco-friendly by design. Use your eco mug again and again. I actually have like a coffee mug. I think I already told you guys that. Actually, no, I'm lying. My boyfriend had a reusable coffee mug from this brand called R Cup. It's like a cup with an R in front of it. R Cup. He had that. Um, but then he wanted a bigger size, so I just took his smaller one. <laughs> I used to bring it with me to therapy the whole time because it's way better than just buying a new coffee mug every time you want to get coffee. So I could put this around that. That is cute. I love that it has my initial on it. So this is for a coffee cup. That's adorable. Thank you so much, Jane. I'm for sure putting aside all of the napkins because I actually want to do something with them right away. Not too close to the napkin, to the, <clears throat> not too close to the candle, with really. I'm just going to put this aside because that makes a lot of noise. And then obviously, even though I just replied to you, I hope that in the future I get to reply to you again. Like my boyfriend and I, or my family and I, we don't actually do Christmas presents. So all of the, all of the uh, presents I do get, I get from you guys, which is kind of kind of cute. Then I said I was going to open this one, and we are going to do that. This one is from Portia. We all know Portia as eccentric nincompoop on Instagram and YouTube, but she told me that she has a subscription service for stamps, which is pretty incredible. And she asked me if I wanted to try one out. Now, obviously I love stamps. I love wooden stamps. I love clear stamps. So I said, yes, I would be very excited to try that out. Um, and we're gonna open it together. I do have to say, um, Portia, <clears throat> this sticker, um, I, I tore off a piece because I used it to cover up your address, but this sticker actually said that they tried to send it back to you or send it back to me, I don't know. For some reason, it wasn't delivered right away, which is why it, it took so long, because I can see that it was sent at the beginning of November, but it took quite a while to get to me for some mistake they made in the post office. So, but it has arrived now, and I can see this is a, definitely a wooden stamp, um, judging by the, the shape. I'm just gonna open it because I'm very excited. So I will... I will link her account and everything down below if you guys are interested. Oh my goodness. Should I try and take one out at a time? I'm gonna take one out at a time. This is the one that we saw like through here, which is funny. It actually like the, the stain on the envelope actually took the shape of the stamp. This is a little clock design like a little vintage clock, which I actually, this is going to sound staged, but it's not. I've actually been looking at this stamp online, <laughs> I think on AliExpress, because I, I quite like that for like doing backgrounds and I've seen a lot of people use these type of stamps. So I'm quite excited to have that. Also because you can make it stand up, which I think is very cute. By the way, I forgot to say this, but I did receive this for free, but it's not sponsored. I mean, I would never, um, I'm just excited to see what she has sent me and as with every subscription I will also tell you if something is not my style but knowing Portia I think this might <laughs> I think this everything is going to be all right then the next thing is a little ink pad a little ink pad it's gold ink which is perfect for the holiday season but I have to admit that I al already have two different brand gold ink pads and they, they never work as well as I hope. So, I might, it's a little bit crazy. I'm gonna try it to see if it works, but I, I, I fear the worst because nothing against Portia or her subscription, but what is up with this? It's a little bit greasy, but um, I, I've, I, I, oh, <laughs> what am I saying? I also have like the VersaFine, Versa Ink, like the official good brands and I never, I can never get it to transfer the actual gold foil. So I am excited, 
but also a little bit worried that this is just going to be another one that I cannot get to work. Other people apparently can make it work. I for some reason can't. Can I do this on the envelope? That's probably not a good background, is it? Just gonna use... I don't know, I was doing mixed media, I made this, and now I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> okay, any tips and tricks how to make this work? Should I st like put a lot on it or a little bit? See, this is, oh, it actually, okay, okay, I take it back. It is quite gold, it is quite shimmery, but I don't know, if you move it, there's a lot of gold. Okay, I take it back, it's better than I expected. <laughs> but I can never, Usually, I can never get them to work. Okay. It's still, like, if you look at it like this, it looks brown, but then you move it around, you can see that it's gold foiled. So maybe I did do it correctly, it's just not what I expected from it. But this actually worked better than I expected. <laughs> did not actually expect to see any gold shimmer. Okay, so we've got that. I'm making this video way too long, aren't I? I'm not gonna try all of the stamps. Okay, we've got another wooden one. <gasps> oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, I love that. So we've got this one. This is a, I hope you guys can see. This is a, what do you call that? Like a glass. Yeah, in Dutch we call it a stolp. <laughs> I don't know what to call it in English. It's a glass cover of some sort with a rose in it. Very magical. I know a pen pal who will love that. Quite like that. And then there is some clear stamps. Wait, oh, and there's a postcard in here. To Vivian, thank you for being a part of the first month of Eccentric Nink and Poops rubber stamp subscription pack. I hope you enjoyed the stamps included in the first month's pack. Sincerely, Portia at Snail Mail Eccentric Ink and Poop. Mm, that's a cute little postcard. I love handwritten notes in orders. And then this is, these are the clear stamps. Let me just unpack that. Is it two sheets? Oh, three sheets. Okay, first one, this one is like a little girl with I'll just put it against the white background. Little girl with balloons. Like, I'm also going to be honest, that is not really my style, but I will just gift it to someone else. I know a lot of people will probably really like that. So that'll make a cute little gift. The next one is this flower stamp, which is obviously very, very me. I'm definitely keeping that myself. That'll make be really nice for like collaging or a background or something. So that is going to stay with me. And then the last one is this it's like a, a, the hearts. It's like Valentine's themed. Um, I like half of the sheet. I love the coffee cup and the the, the lock, <laughs> and of course the male themed ones. Actually, I think I like two thirds of the sheet, but the I don't know for some reason I do not really like stamps with people on it. So this one with the cupid, that's just not really my style. But the rest I actually quite like. So I'm also going to keep that myself. I might actually. No, it's gonna be weird, right, to cut off the top half. I don't know. So all in all, this subscription pack pretty well, pretty, pretty well matches my style. Is that English? I don't know. I don't know how to English anymore. <laughs> Just gonna put that aside. Thank you so much, Portia, for sending me a month of your subscription pack. I'm very excited uh, to send some people your way. So if you if you guys want to check out a stamp subscription service. Um, check out the link in the description box down below. Next up is this one from Peg from the United States. I did already open this. Um, it's decorated with these cute cats on the front. And inside we have a very long letter which I already read. But I did not actually look at all of the goodies because everything was wrapped really nicely. We've got this adorable flip book. And inside, it's actually a little notebook. So we've got, excuse you dogs. We've got coffee cup stickers. We've got pen pal, uh, meal tag questions. And then we've got some really adorable paper die cuts, a washi tape sample and some, I 
think this is like memory dex cards, right? Judging by the bottom. But when you take all of the goodies out, you're left with a very pretty, almost vellum like notebook. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. It would be really cute for doing some writing or some collaging on top of, I think. So there's that, but this, this is wrapped in a way that I, I did not want to ruin. First of all, we've got English breakfast tea, always a good idea. And then we've got this, I do not know how to say this, like it's a, a crochet, crochet heart, crochet, how do you, is crochet, is that like a, a verb? How do you call this? It's like a heart made with crochet. Ah, I'm so confused. My English feels me there. And then we've got this adorable little envelope. And another adorable little envelope. With inside, ooh, a ton of stickers. I think it's a stickers or die cuts. Yeah, a ton of stickers. Delish, fruit coma, meal prep, favorite meal, my family, love my mom, love my dad. Life is an adventure. I wish I had more vacation days, same. <laughs> Love, laughter and smiles. That is cute for journaling. Some nice little journaling stickers. And then this, I did not want to unwrap that because she created a pocket here, but there's actually more inside. Oh, there we go some journaling cards and some more of that pretty paper. Oh, these are colorful and cute. Whoa, I like that. Be mine, it's like Valentine's Day themed. Love these hearts, very nice. Oh, a meal themed one. Cute, some journaling cards. Thank you so much, Peg. I really enjoyed reading your lovely letter. I will also put you in the two reply pile. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very excited to get to know all of you. A little bit better, at least. Okay, I was talking about this and then, oh, my bad, my camera caught me off but I was saying that I follow page and post it on Instagram because I quite like this because this is the envelope or is it because it's actually when you unfold it I have to be careful not to show the letter but it's actually the letter as well look whoa okay I cannot cover all of this up how am I gonna cover all of this up look 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 there we go this is actually the envelope and the note. So her letter's in here and her return address is in there. But then when you fold it up, when you fold it up, okay, I made myself some coffee because my battery ran out. Um, because I've already, this video is already quite long, but what I've already filmed this part three times now. Uh, I don't know if it's on camera or if it's not, but this letter is actually, um, the envelope is actually the letter, which I think is very cool. A cute idea for sending a lightweight little letter. Um, it's from pigeonposted.com. Uh, the idea, the, the, <laughs> I don't know what to call this, the envelope mail. And I also follow them on Instagram because I love the idea. I just haven't been able to get my hand on one of these and now I have. I also really, like I said, I really love this print. So this letter is also going on the to reply pile because on the inside is actually a reply address as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Then I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna cut it short and we're gonna start a new video because this is gonna be very long. This one, Look, the stamp is missing. I don't know how that happened. But this one is once again from Valentina, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't have a return address, but I think it should be inside. She decorated an envelope with this pretty printed paper and these stickers. I also have these stickers. They're from a sticker book, a sticker and wrapping paper book. Very pretty. But I already took a little sneak peek because I was curious to see who this was from, of course. 
her note is in this little card. Yeah, like I said, Valentina. Um, I have received mail from her before a little while ago, um, but she decided to send me something else and she sent me so many cute goodies. First of all, we have this wonderful, um, yeah, how, how, what would I call this? A wonderful circle shaped, doily shaped flip book, which is such a fun idea. I definitely want to do that. And it's decorated with this beautiful minty green paper. And inside there are a lot of goodies as well, such as these little die cuts that I could use. And then on the back, we've got stickers. Just quickly gonna open that. What is in here? Oh, some cats. I can see some cats, I think. Yeah, oh, that's adorable. Some little cat sticker flags. Coffee is creating shadow. Really adorable. I always forget to use sticker flags. I wanna set myself challenges to use Things like sticker flags, washi tape samples, paper scraps, use that more. I just need some ideas. Then, wait, which way is the front again? This one, we've got a lovely pocket with a koala in here. How cute is that? Some koala sticky notes. These are all, but these would be so cute for decorating as well. Just stick it on there. So adorable. I love how he's peeking over the, over the, over the pocket and it matches actually quite well because that sticker book that I also have it has a lot of koalas in it. It does not actually show the koala. I'm fairly certain there's like koala stickers in there right? I'm so okay we've got a little koala there. Oh and there's another thing in here which is also sticky nerds with a beautiful monstera leaf. Really nice. And then on the back here, we've got made beauty and happiness surround you today, decorated with some little buttons, which I absolutely love. And then some handmade tags. Oh, oh, handmade tags. I think I also have that paper. So me. And then on the back is a, I don't know if this is the back or the front. I think I could go both ways, but it says, hello, stop and smell the roses so cute and then we have this adorable little package with some um like some little cards in it and a lot of confetti which is adorable such a cute little package and then a vintage botanical drawing which will be perfect for collaging and we have an envelope oh i love this paper coffee is always a good idea I already opened this but I forgot oh yeah we've got some cute little stamp stickers and then botanical theme little stamps whoa by the way don't you love this sweater it's so comfy and pink <laughs> some cute little stamp stickers and then last but not least, we've got this little bundle of cards, which I have not actually looked at yet. It said hello, and it has a little, oh, it's actually double-sided. A little sparkly effect. Enjoy with gold foiling. Are these also from those books? They might be, I recognize this one. Love. And good luck. By the way, the books I'm talking about, I'm just going to show you because people who do not have action, they have no clue what I'm referring to. I mean, this is one of those books. It's like a gift wrap book. It has stickers, cards, envelopes, and wrapping paper. And then, as you can see, stickers. And then these are the little cards. Look, these are the little cards. And you have envelopes and you have a wrapping paper in the back. So that is just for clarification but very cute valentina i really like your meal um i have not obviously replied to your previous one but this one is also going in the pile and then hopefully one day i will get to reply to you <laughs> now that is it for today's video i am going straight into filming the second one but this one is already at least an hour long so i'm sorry if you watched all the way through it congratulations well done <laughs> i admire you uh 
I hope you're all doing amazing. I hope you got some lovely ideas and don't forget to stick around to watch the second video which will be online very soon as well. Bye for now.